All right, I am done messing around with the shop. Everyone's been now very well equipped. I like seriously. I was like, everyone, get ready to rock and roll up because I'm about to equip the shit out of your brains. But I'm gonna go check this guy really quick and see if there's any new bounty hunts. Because bounty hunts are, I have found, the best way to get shit. But no, maybe I have to complete that last one to get new bounty hunts. And I wonder if the errand board, which is like chiseled in stone. Damn it, why did I even come here? Look at this. More fucking quests that I'm not even doing. Bring a sunlight. Oh, yeah. I was like, what quests am I even doing? <laughs> Mechanical creatures. Derwin moved on to the ask you to bring. Oh. So, see, I still have. Dude, I still have to do the old quests. There's so many quests. Maybe I'll do it off camera and I'll just go and do a bunch of quests someday. I'm not 100% sure how to go about that whole business. But now it is time to go talk to whoever's in this building. Hopefully it's. Kulan, and hopefully she doesn't have hard stuff for me to do. What the fuck? This bitch looks crazy. She's got the crazy eye, and she's got the crazy chest! Oh, you bitch! Who gave you this purple chest? Talk! Alright. Well, she is gonna talk, but she's not gonna tell me who gave, gave her that fucking purple chest. Well, uh, what is he thinking? Why is he letting more outsiders first? There was that ancient man and giant man and now children? Excuse me, ma'am, we're looking for Queen Kulan. The guard said she was somewhere around here. So you have come to receive her blessing. Here we go, we'll flip it again. What was all the sacred ceremonies and blooming blessings? Oh, she's Spanish, apparently? Key, you come to Perdida, yet you know nothing of her blessings. Look, uh, look deep in the eyes of the people here, so we see how we are blessed. We see them all right, these people aren't blessed there. Broken hearted seems like some blessings aren't worth counting. They're all broken hearted. Pay no attention, Carino. The blessings we have received have lifted the fear from our hearts. Do you know how many winds in this land have been wiped from the map by the dark jinn? How many towns? I said winds, I don't know. But you can't just give in, you have to stand up to Shaddaa. Let me take a look at you, Nino. Ooh, are you a wizard or are you not? How can you know what it is? Have no magic, no power, nothing but fear in your heart. Oh my gosh, so everyone, like, dude, seriously, I think you may as well have your broken heart, Nino Carino. Or Nina Carino. It is not time for ceremony to begin. Dude, everyone here is brokenhearted. We have so much work to do. Kulan doesn't even know. I'm sure Queen Kulan's going to be much help, you know. Not if she's the one handing out these so-called... Dude, I bet she has a nightmare, and we're gonna have to fight it. No flippin' joke. And you know what? She should have a way to open up purple chests. Oh my god! I swear, when I'm able to open up those purple chests, I'm gonna go find, like, all the purple chests ever in the world. And I'm gonna rock shit. Uh, before I go up there, I should probably save. I know you're, I know you're probably like, Rakdar, why so save? And the answer is because... There, there, Nina. It will be over soon. There's a good girl, Carino. Yeah, yeah. May we begin the ceremony? Everything is in order, Queen Kulan. It's her! The Queen of the Heavens! We found Kulan! But, uh, oh yeah, it's because if I'm about to fight, but it looks like she's not gonna fight. But she is brokenhearted, so maybe I am gonna fight. Shadar must have done this when he attacked Xanadu. Handing out those so-called blessings, but if we don't do something, Nina will end up brokenhearted too. Dude, this is... this is it. I bet she does have a nightmare, and that we are gonna have to fight the nightmare. There's no way she doesn't. All of, like, the major storyline people that have been brokenhearted have had, like, a nightmare to battle. What's happening? Oh, yeah. And there's the... There's that nightmare glow. That's not good. Okay, yep, here it is. Kulan's nightmare, the void of the... Nina's in danger. We've got to save her. Come on, everybody. Fight. All right, so there's only one way to start off battles with nightmares, because for some reason, I always seem to forget our... our arrow of light good against nightmares. They are, but they, they did, like, hardly any damage. Oh, and I can't... Oh, man, I can't use Gunter in this fight, because he's at level one. Fuck. Fuck. Um... Well, you know what? Let's just 
pop out. Oh, oh, money mayhem. And let's defend from whatever it's about to do. See, I didn't even know what it was going to do, but I knew that I should probably defend. Nice! Nice to defend you! And now I'm not poisoned! Alright, um... Maybe I should use items to unpoison. I think I've got spells to unpoison, though. Whatever. Let's... Let's take out Warcry. And by take out Warcry, I just mean use Warcry. Dude, poison does a lot of damage. Maybe it is in my best bet. Oh, now I'm poisoned because I stepped in... I stepped in the poison cloud. I wonder if I have any... Oh, that's probably... No... I think that... There we go. I'm like, I think one of us has a spell that gets rid of poison, and I think Esther is using it right now, so... We're good to go. We're good to go, and I probably shouldn't touch those things that are floating around in the air. Let's go back to Oliver... Oh, shit! Let's defend! And... Alright. So I shouldn't take too much damage from the cruel rain now, but I do need to stay out of this poison shit on the ground, so I don't get poisoned again. Alright. Chirpy Tune! Alright, do I have a spell that gets rid of poison? I don't think I do. Ward, increase... No, that's not what that does. Okay. Yeah, but I didn't get poisoned, so I'm doing okay. Let's, while I wait for Lemur... Or, while I wait for Money Mayhem to become rebattleable, I'm using all the wrong things right now. Let's spells? Let's just Arrow of Light her while I wait for... Uh, him to get back into fighting shape. Alright. Oh, Esther's gonna die, actually. In fact, I should instead spells, healing touch, Esther, because she's just standing there letting the poison have its way with her. Oh man, she's using Cruel Rain again. That is one annoying move. Everyone defend. No Cruel Rain for me. Everyone try not to get poisoned. Except for Swain's already poisoned because he's stupid. It's actually, I don't blame you, Swain. You're an okay dude. Alright, healing touch. Oh, on Swain, I guess. And now we'll pop out. Oh, Money Mayhem. You're back in action. Warcry that shit. I wonder if I can use Petrifying um, Poke against a boss. I get the feeling I can't just because in a lot of games, um, bosses, like, you can't use. I don't know, you can't use certain moves. How. I, dude, I was the only one that's defending. Why did I get blinded? Well, you know what? Fuck it. Let's. I can, even with blind, I can supercharge. Here we go. Slash Dance! Bitch, take my Slash Dance. Dude, this boss is actually hard again. Like, I've faced two sort of semi-easy bosses in a row. Holy shit, that did a chunk of damage. How is Esther's mana looking? Okay, she's okay on mana right now. Um... You know what, I think I'm gonna swap into Swain. And then swap into Lemurface Plus and try and do some... Big... Oh, that just heals myself. Well, whatever. It's worth the mana because I'm not doing so hot on health right now anyway. In fact, maybe I should stick or play as Swain. And, uh... Oh. Arr, stay out of the poison! Damn it, I got in the poison. Esther's gonna die. Esther... is gonna die unless I do something... Oh, I need to be Swain to use. I was trying to go for provisions, but I forgot that... Well, I didn't forget, I'm just stupid. You can't use provisions from... Oh, here comes this move again. Fuck! I am just not doing so hot right now. Dude, see, these are the fights where, like, too much shit is happening, and I'm just not paying enough attention. Alright, let's go into Budain Su and Leech. Let's use some of the shit. There we go. Except for because Nightmares are, like, evil, that didn't do so much damage. Oh, man. And here comes another Cool Rain already. Holy shit. I'm gonna have to give some... Oh, who died? Oh, it was Esther. That's bad. Yeah, you should be sorry, dumb bitch. Seriously. Going and dying. Actually, though, realistically, it's it's my fault. She died. Alright, Phoenix Feather. Um... Not Phoenix... Yeah, let's not use... Let's not waste a Phoenix Tear on this shit. So, okay. Well, Phoenix Feather, Esther. And then... And, oh yeah, yeah, I know you're back, thank you. And then we'll give her mana with a... Where's my coffee? How much mana does she have? I feel like... Yeah. She, it's funny that she doesn't even have enough mana to the point where it's like even worth it to... Oh, here comes another cool rain. 
But luckily I got Ward, so that'll... Actually, that's a good move here, because... Um, it defends against magic damage. Alright, here we go. Whatever. Cruel Rain ain't no thing. But it is kind of a thing, because it keeps me poisoned, and poison just... Does a whole shit ton of damage. And why did I Pebble Pelt? I did not mean to do that. I meant to use this move. And hopefully... Hit some damage up. Oh my gosh! See, that's what I really need to be doing right now, is like... Actually getting some damage. Look at this, when... When Oliver is in control of himself... He, like, sits there and fights as himself. Why ever would he do- I want that. Don't let it go to her. Damn it, she got it. Whatever. She's gonna use it, too, and that's gonna heal everyone and buff them up and shit, but... Or does Crescendo do damage? Or not? I forget. Oh, no, it... I don't even know what Crescendo does. Oh, it, like... It, like, heals everyone. Well, that's fine, too. Whatever. That works. I wish that would've gone to, um, Lemur Face Plus, but... It's okay that it didn't. Alright, here we go. Get Brain Sue out there. Psych up! Alright, oh, I don't even, dude, I don't even care about Cruel Rain anymore. It doesn't do too much damage, and I'm not apparently smart enough to be able to be depoisoning and shit, so I'm more concerned with just, like, damaging her right now. Plus, Oliver and Esther are healing right now, so realistically, as long as I keep my eye on their mana, things should be okay. And as long as I keep my eye on my health. Alright, um, provisions... Let's pop out a cappuccino. On... Esther needs it a lot right now. Alright, here you go. Here's some cappuccino... Oh, and shit. What did I just do? Pitch black, I didn't do anything, but I am about to... Someone's gonna die. Alright, nobody died. It's not too bad, but I am blinded. Alright, lemur face plus. You are the DPS. Rocket to the moon, and possibly I should heal myself. And definitely possibly I should de-blind myself. Oh shit, okay, dude, oh my gosh. Provisions, do this, oh good, somebody healed me in time. Let us, do I have a blindness beyond? I have one. Well, I'll use it on me. Yay! Use my one blindness beyond on me! And I'm repoisoned. Holy shit, man. This thing still has like half its health left. Thanks, Ward, for the thing. And as long as I'm in Swain, I might as well provisions again and give Oliver some mana because, yeah, he needs it. Oh my gosh. And they, look at their, look at what they're doing. They're doing that thing that I hate. They're just standing there, taking hits from the dude. Oh, all right, whatever. Get over there, lemur face. Fucking defense, all out defense. Hopefully some people don't get blinded by this. And hopefully nobody dies. Oh, Esther definitely died. Alright. Mmm. Tidy Tears, great. Too bad Tidy Tears doesn't bring my people back to life. Your spell sucks, dude. But I think it will, like, deep poison my guys, maybe? Oh no, they stay poisoned. Alright, well, it did bring everybody's health up a lot. Let's go to Provisions. Wait, oh shit. I'm not in the right dude! Provisions. Looks like I'm gonna have to use one of these, the big boys, Phoenix tier. But hey, you know what? Obviously I need it, because this fight's not going so hot for me. And how's that gonna put her on mana, too? I think she'll still be pretty bad on mana. Alright, okay, provisions, cappuccino, yep, Esther. Dude, you know what I need to do? I need to pop back into Oliver and fight his money mayhem for a while, because I need to, like, deal some damage. Alright, let's get to... Oliver... and let's get to money mayhem... and let's war cry. Here we go. Mmm. Dude, now it's time to lay out some damage for this bitch. Except for... Ugh. This is so annoying, like, she teleports around and, like, stepping in the purple shit, like, stuns you. This fight is basically the hardest battle ever. I don't know why I'm doing so bad. Alright, well, there goes Swain. Fuck. Fuck! I don't want to waste a thing. Swain isn't even worth a thing. He's not. He's not worth a thing. Well, shit. Spells, healing touch on Esther, because she's just standing there taking hits right now like a dumb bitch. Um, spells, healing touch, 
Stop just standing there! Stupid bitch! Well, look at me. Now, now I'm the one that's just standing there, so... I guess I shouldn't be too mad. I guess it's hard to not just stand there sometimes. Alright. Oh my gosh. Money Mayhem, get in there. Win this fight for me. Because I'm not winning it for myself. Ugh. Dude, it'll be easier now, because, like, Esther only has to heal two people now, so... Here comes Pitch Black. I probably should have defended, so I wouldn't get, uh, blinded, but it's too late for that now. And, yep, I'm blinded. Great, and I'm at, I don't have any more blindness beyond, so... I really just kind of have to hope for some hits. And hope that Esther has got the heals. Oh, yeah! Got a nice. That's what I like to see. Dude, there's been no- I've gotten no chances during this fight. And now Money Mayhem's- his welcome is about worn out. Oh my gosh! Alright, Money Mayhem, your welcome's worn out. Oliver, get in there, and... Let's, uh, spells- how's Esther's magic doing, by the way? Oh, she has none. Alright, provisions... I need to give her a cappuccino. Man, I am gonna run out of all my mana items during this fight. There we go. Here comes another pitch black, that sucks, but I... And I don't have any items to stop blindness, so whatever. I just ha kind of have to accept my fate, I suppose. Healing the titch! Right. Let's get Money Mayhem back in there. We need... We need to be rocking some damage right now. Mmm. I wish I had higher accuracy. Urgh. Higher accuracy would be great at this moment in time, since I'm getting blinded so much, but... And I don't have any blindness beyond. I'm sure I've got a spell that, like, does that shit for me, but I don't know what spell it is. Alright, um... Oh, I'm so close to death. Get that heal off in time! Oh, that was very close to bad. Alright, get another heal. More heals. Heals are good. Alright, and let's pull, pop out Money Mayhem for some more blind attacking. Holy fuck! This fight is going, like, so badly. But he did- hey, Money Mayhem didn't get blinded, but Esther is gonna die. If I don't- oh, she healed herself. Beautiful. Well, that's great. Provisions. Fishburger. Use on Oliver. And- oh, and here comes Healing Rain. That is actually a good move right now, because... That's gonna restore everyone's health. Alright, cool. Too bad I just used Fishburger. Alright, Oliver, get back in there. Pop out Money Mayhem again. Uh, War Cry! Alright, this is the damage. And when she used Petrifying Thing again, or when she used her thing to blind, I have to make sure to, uh. Shit. When she, okay, oh, she's gonna use that one, whatever. I was like, if she uses her thing to blind. And I canceled it! Oh, and now I get Chance. Great. This is it! Chance! Chance! Urgh, using my chance well. Oh, and I got. Oh, don't take it. No. <laughs> Fuck. That could have been the end of the fight, you dumb bitch. I was trying to get to it. I should just be able to tell her that we don't want your fucking stupid ass move when I could be ending the fight. God damn it. This fight's been going on forever. It could have been over. It could have been over, you dumb bitch. Now it is over. Well, whatever. Cool. Oh. Okay, that wasn't the smoothest fight, but it wasn't the smoothest fight. That's basically what I can say. It wasn't the smoothest fight, but it wasn't the smoothest fight. Look at that Gun Gunter fucking up to level 13 all suddenly, like. He'll be, you know what? Gunter will be back in the fray in no time. And I've got to look through my moves and see which moves cure status ailments. Or I need to, like, get items that... Protect me from status Nina ailments. Carino, are you all right? What do you care? You're broken hearted. Get away from me! You disappoint <gasps> me, <gasps> Queen of the Heavens. Lord Shaddaa! Shaddaa! Where is he? Hear me, Queen of the Heavens. Huh? The power of huh? your nightmare huh? is as good as spent. Huh? Though you are a sage, it would seem you are all too human. Perhaps I was wrong to choose you as my representative. Lord Shaddaa, I beg you, give me one more! It is too late. 
Shorn of the power of your nightmare, what use have I for one such as you? <gasps> Green Kool-Aid! Huh? huh? Kubla! Ha! Sorry to keep you waiting. Kubla! <laughs> what the hell? I see. The dregs of Xanadu arrive. How amusing. I look forward to seeing how much you will fight you put up this time. So Kubla, oh yeah, he is, is he a Xanadu dude? My apologies, your honest, I never did know my place, did I? And the same goes for the rest of you, what business can your unruly kind have with someone such as I? It looks like the Queen of the Heavens is still very much a bitch, alright. Can you do for, oh yep, yeah, there we go, so we need to fix her broken heart, and maybe that means we need to go to the other place, alright, so it's love she needs, is it? If it's love you're after, I'm your man. You heard me, no man has more love for a woman than I have for Kulan. Oh my gosh. That is so sweet. And who is to know that Kublai was actually one of the people of Xanadu? Alright. I need to know. Calm down, will you? Never mind now. All we need to know is that Kublai has some love to share with Queen Kulan. Quite so, have it, lad. All right, well, I'm just gonna head off. JK, oh, whoa, but there's a box right there. <laughs> like, I'm just like, box? Fuck doing the quest, we got a box right here. All right, seriously, let's take all the love this guy has. At least they made that easy on me so I don't have to, like, go to Motorville and find out who is loving and shit. Dude, seriously, that boss fight, by the way, was, like, the first one that I've struggled with in a while, so... It's good to know this game still has something to fuck me over. Alright, give her my love. Bring her back to me. Alright, if you get love, maybe you won't want to jump Shadar's bones anymore? I don't know. Seems like she was pretty hell-bent on serving Shadar, but probably because she didn't have enough love for the people of this world. Or some shit like that. My heart! Kublai! Your Highness, or you're back with us. I spoke so harshly to you just now. How can you find it in your heart? Forgive me. Think nothing of it. It was a pleasure to hear such a rough and ready words from the mouth of a noble-born lady. Pray do not mock me, Kublai. I'm just glad Queen Kulon's not broken-hearted anymore. Too right, I must say I'm impressed with old pirate face here. Oh, that's trippy talking. I'm giving her the wrong voice. Oh my gosh, voices! Because it's so important that I give the wrong right voices since most of the time I don't even read what's happening anyway. I mean, I do, but I don't like read it out loud. Could not protect my realm, and then I came to this town and broke the hearts of its people. What a bitch. Well, maybe she can fix my- maybe she can defeat my arch nemesis, purple chests. Alright. But does it not excuse the harm I have caused? I've inflicted so much suffering. You met a ghost of a lady in Hamlin, a soldier who once served you. She was one of the people who died in Xanadu. And she told us that so long as Queen Kulan was alive, there was hope for her people. And look, ar and look around you. The people of this town may be brokenhearted, but at least they're alive. Your Highness, let us return this town to its form of self. It may take time, but I know you can do it. You may not be a queen any longer, but we will stand beside you. You are not alone, and say, rebuild Xanadu! Oh, Kublai, thank you. Thank you, everyone. You are right. I cannot give in to despair. I must uh, become someone who can inspire open others. That is my duty. You aren't the only great sage who has led us astray. My father and Marcos and suffered too. Yes, Oliver helped them just like he helped you, and now you'll be fighting fit to the battle against evil can finally begin in earnest. There's something I've been dying to ask. I need to know how something's been going on between Kulon and Kublai. I mean, a queen and a sky pirate. So romantic. Oh, maybe they're boning. All right. Quite right. I'm a man of many talents, and being of the fierce leader of a band of swashbuckling sky pirates is just one of them. Kublai has also served as the commander of the Xanaduvian Airborne Division, which he fought for the Queen Kulon. I'm asked. I can speak for myself, you slack-jawed cur. Holy shit. Well... But does that make this conversation go any faster? I've watched over her, but she was a girl, and I can't say I, f I don't can't say I don't feel for her. But I am a mere soldier, and there's not that can be done about that. Oh, but dude, now she's not a queen anymore, and now, yeah, dude, they can truly be in love. Maybe they will fall for each other. Put us out of your misery, won't you? Going to make the poor woman say it. 
You stand before the King of the Sky Pirates, blah blah blah. They love each other. But the real question is... I should... Oh, I should take... See, every time this screen appears, I should go back to the Great Tree. And then I can get free shit. Alright, the hearts of the people of Perdita have been restored. Young Nina, you must have been terribly afraid. I apologize for most humbly for my actions. I am happy you have become so kind and gentle. Everything in Perdita, it's bright and happy now. We will never give in to Shadar. But now the real question is... Can you put stones into wands? I know what I must do. My duty is to protect the people of Perdita from Shadar. I vow never to let his dark despair engulf this town again. I will make amends for all I have done. Then it seems I have no choice. I'll throw my lot in with you, Your Highness. We'll protect this puny little village together. Oh, Forbidden love. He has to travel around and save the world. But you know what? When he is done with us, he can come back and be with her forever until they're dead. Looks like everything's worked out then. Oh, but before I forgot, there was a reason we came here to in the middle of nowhere. It concerns Mordstar, does it not? Yes, we're trying to restore its power, but to manage three magic stones. Alright, tell me, tell me more. Well, it's speculated that it might be because we brought Mordstar here from the past. Let's see here, I am most curious as to what the intentions could be, but I shall ponder that at my leisure. Our priority is to put the stop to Shadar's plans, or perform, require without delay. Tidy, sounds like Old Claw knows things about getting Mordstar back in one piece. There's Andy. So, what do we have to do now? Because I'm sure... We can't just do shit. Look at this. Oh no, we're back in that house again. I was like, I'm sure that nothing's easy, so... She's not just gonna give us that which we require. And look at this! Now, this town is all questy and full of feelings. Okay, what is, does she have a lemur face plus on her? This is our home, but it is small, big hearts. See here, can you make stew again? Please, Hermana. Here, you seem to get along well. I bet she has kindness. We look after the young and the old as if they were our family. Oh, she totally has kindness. Wait, no, she has a whole lot of love. Dude, I never know what people have. Because she's all like... It looked like she had... Love, but she has kindness. See, I feel like in this game... Sometimes confidence is a lot like enthusiasm. And I guess now that love is in the mix, love is going to be a lot like... The other feelings. That was actually the first time I had collected love was for that quest I was just on. 